Hi everyone, welcome to week number nine. Congratulations on finishing your group project during week number eight. I took a brief look at each one of them and it, they all look uh, really good so far. So I'll take a more careful look and be grading them over the course of this next week. Um, remember that I'm going to upload them this evening and you can begin to start to read and interact with them. That's what week nine will be most mostly. You have one short article to read by Walter Wink, which is available in the week number nine module. And then you're going to be able to look at e each other's uh, group projects and ask questions about them. Um, and hopefully the groups will interact with, uh, with you on those questions. And this is my way of introducing a wider range of topics in Christian ethics just beyond we did kind of did a little deeper dive into race but we can't cover all the topics and so this is my way to begin to introduce some of these different topics through your group projects and then it's also a way for you to get an idea of what I'm looking for for the final project so your final project will look something like your group project except for you'll go deeper into one or two of the different methodologies in doing Christian ethics um, on a topic. So, you know, this one you kind of had to skim the surface for each different methodology, narrative, topical, um, the Sermon on the Mount, and ethics from the margins. But with your final paper, you'll go on a deeper dive. So maybe something that you're researching interested you and you want to dive deeper into the into the topic that you did your group project on, or uh, you're reading another project and you're like, oh, that's interesting. I think I'll do that. Um, then you can you can work on that. Or you may have something else. So week nine, you know, look at people's projects, see what they did, ask questions, interact with them when uh, people ask questions about what your group project was. And then week number 10 will be you submitting your group or your final paper proposals in a discussion forum. And so you'll You'll submit your proposal, what you're going to do research on, and maybe some of the ways that you're going to look at your specific topic. And then your classmates can read them, comment, offer resources, those kinds of things, or just uh, gauge interest in the topic and maybe ask you if, if when you finish your research paper that you could share that with them and, um, and then they could, they could kind of look at it. So how to have a successful week number nine. There's an article by Walter Wink on turning the other cheek, walking the second mile, and giving your cloak when somebody sues you for your tunic. Um, and so take a look at that article, and there's a discussion there. It's a short article, less than 15 pages, I think, but I think you'll find it really interesting. And then, so that article and discussion, and then this evening, I will post all of your group projects in their specific uh, discussions, and then you can read each other's uh, projects, you can ask questions about them, and you can answer questions that people are asking about you. So that's how to have a successful week number nine. Week number 10 will be uh, submitting your project proposals and your paper proposals, and then uh, commenting and uh, reading other people's uh, paper proposals. So there's not a lot of reading required. You can go back and you can uh, finish a reading that you might not have finished or uh, to get 100% on that particular quiz, you can go back and change your grade. That's perfectly fine with me. Um, so you can do that as well, or you can begin to start uh, researching and working on your final paper. So it's a little bit more relaxed over the next couple of weeks. That's kind of my way to help you get a running start on your final paper. So I hope you have a great week. Uh, I will probably be posting a, a couple of lectures over the next couple of weeks just to wrap things up and try to tie a bow on what we've been doing in this course so far. So again, well done on your projects. I look forward to looking at them a little bit more carefully and then, um, yeah, interact with one another as people ask questions about your project and you ask questions about theirs. Okay, have a great week.